piano man Dan. Piano man Dan. Thank you, Dan. Wow. Look at you. Look at you, lovely, lovely St. Leonardians. Are you all well? Are you very well? Yes. Well, that didn't sound very well. The, uh, are you all on holiday? Do you all, are you all holidaying here? Do you live in St. Some holiday makers. Where were they? Well, here, here, and up there. Well, you're clapping them. Yeah, clap them for coming on holiday, St. Leonard's. That's what we do, and so we welcome you, holiday makers. Thank you for coming. In fact, I didn't think that I was going to be here tonight because I have been on holiday. Yes, I, uh, yes, I called it a holiday. I was camping, mm. which is, yeah, kind of why I didn't think I'm, you know, because the thing about camping, you're never sure if you're going to survive, are you, really? You know, I don't think they should call it camping. I think that's misleading. That kind of suggests it's glamorous and kind of lovely, you know. They should call it surviving, shouldn't they? That's what it is. And it's not a holiday, it's an exercise. It's a survival exercise. That's what I've just been on, and I made it back. I think, you know when parents, you know when you were younger and, they, and your parents said, we're going to go camping, kids. Did you endure that? Did some of you have that? Yeah. And they say, we're going to go on a two weeks holiday. They're lying. What they should do is say, look, kids, we're going to go away for two weeks, and we're going to sleep in damp bags, <laughs> in wet fields. There's going to be no comforts, no toilets, no water, no electricity, no heating, and the food's going to be very dodgy. Do you want to come? We wouldn't have gone, would we? we anyway, I did go camping, and uh, was that? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Are you a camper? You no, you see exactly, exactly. Well, the thing about camping is well, lots of things about camping, really, but it's it's kind of. I think the crazy thing about it is it, it's like looking up accommodation on TripAdvisor, we, reading the worst possible reviews and going, that's for me, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you know, when they it'd say beds, terrible, it was like sleeping in a bath with the taps running, good. Uh, the bedroom walls flap in the wind, if it rains it's like sleeping in a bucket. Uh, you've got to collect your own water um, and to go to the loo you need to walk five minutes in the pitch black across a field that contains loads of other miserable campers, all wailing, and there may be one or two serial killers, but you know, fill your boots. <laughs> and then turning to your partner and saying, one week or two, and, uh, and going on that holiday. It's mad, isn't it? The, uh, I think it's a bit crazy. But um, because the thing is, when you're camping, everything is incredibly difficult or i don't think it's just me but it, it's you know getting dressed in a tent is almost impossible getting undressed is difficult going to sleep it, it's all like wrestling with an octopus in a bin liner that's how it felt really unless it's raining and then it's like wrestling with an octopus in a bin liner whilst being drowned in a swimming pool that's that's kind of how it felt but anyway i'm not camping anymore uh one of the best things about camping is uh, when you wake up in your own bed and you realize you're not camping anymore. That's fantastic. Uh, but not only that, not only that, it's, uh, I think maybe this is why we do it, so that when we get home, our houses are amazing. You know, eating toast is like, oh, I'm, I'm having toast. This is, this is cordon bleu. And uh, going to the bathroom, I'll leave you with this, going to the bathroom, I just got home, I went to the bathroom, and it's honestly true, it was like going for a mini break at a wellness center. That's how it felt. That's how it honestly felt.